Today, straight from China, we have a brand new Pandora box setup to take a look at. It's been a little while. I haven't looked at a Pandora box setup for a minute. The last one I received actually blew up on me and I didn't do a video on it because it seemed to be on fire or something when I plugged it in. So I threw it away. Uh, but this one, we're gonna give a solid chance to. Hopefully nobody gets hurt in the production of this video. But this thing, the new Pandora box, 128 gigabyte, 8,520 games with monitor, 10 inch screen, clamshell, plug and play, video game, console, Wi-Fi version. Holy crap, that's, that's the title on the, uh, the company's page that provided this to me for purpose of review. They never have like very, uh, you know, clean names anyway. Uh, it is what it is. It's a Pandora box arcade stick with a monitor built into it. Anything special here? Well, I mean, it comes with a bunch of nonsense in the box and the thing is heavy as all hell. It's freaking nuts. The whole thing is metal. And it, it kind of kind of concerns me because I, I feel like these Pandora box systems, they were kind of in their prime a few years ago. And now it just kind of almost seems like they've given up on these things. Like they keep making them, but the quality seems to be of lesser importance nowadays with these things. I mean, this thing, it, it is all metal construction, but a little shoddy. Some of the paint is chipping off. The uh, cutouts for the buttons and everything looks really jagged and a, a little jank. Overall, the system doesn't look great, in my opinion. Uh, this looks worse than some homemade devices I've seen out there, but does it work? Does it perform? Will it blow up on me? Well, I've tested it for quite some time now, and no, it has not blown up on me. But this thing, yeah, it, it's got a lot going for it if you're into these kind of things. I mean, I don't want this to be all negative, but it's kind of hard to get excited for these things when it's like, oh, this is a new one, and then you play it, and it seems like it's pretty much the same as the last 20 that you looked at over the past three years, you know? And, and that's kind of where we're at here. It does seem like there's been some improvements with emulation, for some systems that are on this thing. Now the included 10 inch screen that it comes with, it's, I mean, it's built in, right? It has some decent viewing angles. Like I can't really complain about the quality of the screen. It does seem okay to me. The quality of the panel itself with the buttons and the sticks, not the best, not the worst. Right in the middle somewhere, maybe a little below average. They're not horrible, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is, though. You'll, you'll get by with these uh, these buttons and sticks for sure. Now, underneath this thing, you do have a battery compartment if you just want to run this thing portably. Uh, I think it's like 18650s or something. I, I'm not 100% what this thing takes, but it takes a few batteries, or you can just plug it in to the wall and turn it on and get some uh, gaming goodness going on. The rear ports, there's a bunch of stuff there. You could plug in additional controllers video out you plug this into a, a bigger screen if you so choose that kind of thing there are some buttons back there power for the system itself and then buttons to turn on the little led lights for the actual you know a b c d e f buttons on the front the uh, red blue green yellow and white buttons will light up if you turn those other buttons on so i mean artwork aside the build quality aside None of that stuff is great, but the games, yeah, there's a ton of games here. You're gonna see a lot of stuff that has jank names, like just made up names, Baby Bunny Adventures, and you know, just weird, weird, crazy crap that doesn't make any sense. Like you're gonna get away with renaming all these games to something else, I, I guess. The companies won't notice, I suppose, right? Now I tested a bunch of different systems on this device just to kind of see what was up. And yeah, we got PlayStation, Dreamcast, PSP, arcade games, Super Nintendo, PC Engine. We got a little bit of everything and it does a good job for the most part with the older retro stuff. Now you do have some game settings if you wanna mess with visuals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's also some options for the actual built-in screen to change the aspect ratio. 4, 3, 16, 9 to your heart's content with the contrast and brightness and saturation. You could mess with all that stuff if you so choose. Kind of nice that it has that, but fairly standard stuff. Overall, playing this thing, 
yeah, like I said, a lot of those old games work fine. Dreamcast, I, I particularly wanted to test. My God, I can't speak today. Dead or Alive or what? Death and Live or whatever whatever they called it. I don't know. The game plays okay, but there's a lot of graphics glitches. Uh, Gigawing 2 on the Dreamcast played okay. Uh, some games do seem to have some slowdown on the Dreamcast, so more advanced stuff like that. PSP and, and, and Dreamcast. That's going to be your real big mixed bag here. Normally, I would say Nintendo 64 would be a mixed bag, but for whatever reason, when I tried playing Nintendo 64 on this system, the uh, the sticks that are included, it, it, it they don't respond right. Like, it's very strange. Like, playing Mario Kart, for example, or any game where you turn and move, which is pretty much any game on Nintendo 64 that you play as a character moving around, it, it's like real slow like almost like it's trying to mimic a steering wheel i don't know how else to explain it but you hit left and it just takes forever to start turning left not playable just nintendo 64 even if the games run fine it wasn't playable with the uh the controls however this thing is set up and not all the buttons function properly for the system so not everything is mapped and i cannot figure out how to fix that so no matter what nintendo 64 just sucks you can't play anything on it properly anyway i mean maybe there'll be a couple games that are okay but 99 percent of them not not going to be good playing stuff like ps1 seems to be fine arcade games uh you know i tested a few some you know had some uh glitches and slow down but a lot of the older 2d stuff was running just fine your game boy color game boy advance seemed okay nes no real issues there uh, like I said, all that kind of stuff, PC Engine, no biggie. Everything plays fine. It's just when you get to that, you know, Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, PSP, and then some arcade games. So, you know, it, it's it's so tough with this. Like, I think presentation is a big part of it because overall, the system and the emulation is not horrible, but the price is and the quality behind the actual build, just the way everything looks, for me, is a huge turnoff. Like, if this was just slick looking and the presentation was really nice, it, it would be more easy to get hyped for it. And I know whenever I speak negative on some of these types of devices, people get all butt hurt for whatever reason. Like, you made this thing, or like, uh, why are you being negative? I could be positive or negative, and there'll be people out there that are like disturbed either way. But I'm just honest with my feelings, and I, I feel like that's probably the biggest thing with this device is. It's ugly as all hell. It just does I mean, there's just something about it. The paint that's on it might have lead in it. I don't freaking know. It's just an, an atrocity. It, it, it's crazy looking. Like, I mean, maybe if this thing was out like 25 years ago, I would have been like, oh my God, this is amazing. But nowadays, I mean, there's just so many options available on the market. There's so many DIY solutions. Uh, legit products, you know, even stuff that's similar to this out of China that does it better. And I, I, I just don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I, I, I think I may be done with not, not necessarily, you know, emulation consoles from out of China and whatnot, but maybe these Pandora boxes because I, I don't really see them going anywhere. I'm not seeing any kind of innovations with these devices. They're all the same. They might add a screen to it. They might make it out of metal instead of plastic, or they might mimic the Capcom logo. I, I don't know. It's just weird with these things. Let me know what you guys think down below. Really do appreciate every single one of y'all watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.